So uh, a little change in schedule for this one. Joe Hemsworth, who I'm sure has been looking forward to what will be a huge title shot at the European title currently held by Rory Crawford. And unfortunately for him, a few days ago, Crawford had to pull out with uh, an injury. Hemsworth from Anthony Ferguson's gym, tall range, he's a good fighter. But uh, unfortunately for him, he is facing a replacement opponent. But good news is it's for the European title eliminator. Joe Hemsworth! So not the shot that he perhaps feels he deserves, but the upshot is if he wins tonight, he will face Rory Crawford later on this year. And now, please welcome to the red corner from Stockton on Tees, Nathan the Rocket Ransom! And goodness me, talk about uh, a huge opportunity at late notice, Dave Benson. Nathan Ransom having to step up at, to the plate and have three or four days' notice and take what, if he wins it, will give him an opportunity at the European title later on this year. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Very true, and that's why you hear people say, always be ready. Nathan Ransom! Real height difference with these two. Joe Hemsworth is a very rangy, tall opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, this kickboxing Grand Prix rules bout will be a, an eliminator for the minus 65 kilogram KGP European title. This bout will be contested over three three minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there will be a fourth deciding round. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the balloon corner at yesterday's weigh in. He scaled 64.5 kilograms. He brings a fighting record of 16 fights with 12 wins and four losses. He's representing Renegade Jim in Stevenage. Please welcome Joe Ahama Hemsworth. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. And yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 63.5 kilograms. He brings a fighting record of 10 fights with six wins and four losses. Representing contender Jim in Stockton on Tees, it's Nathan the Rocket Ransom. Okay, fight, center ring. All right, guys, you both understand the rules you're fighting on the Pro K1 rules. You both understand those rules. Men of a knockdown, make sure you go into your corner. I will not begin to count to do so. Touch gloves, gentlemen, back to your corners. Okay, ready? Ready? Hey! So Joe Hinsworth, not the opportunity that he would have wanted tonight, but he's still got to keep switched on because Dave Fenton, this is his opportunity to prove once again that he's worthy of that European title shot against Rory Crawford later on in the year. Yeah, very much. And again, it's another chance to showcase his skills on this uh, platform. Joe's uh, gone from strength to strength and physically he looks in the best shape I've seen him really uh, packing on a little bit of muscle and Crawford on the polls on the website this morning was I think if I early this week was 85% favourite for victory over Hemsworth so it will be interesting to see him against another opponent see what you think he's made of Maybe it will make people reassess his chances if he puts in a good performance tonight. And he started well. Yeah, Crawford's style is uh, very solid. He will sit, sit on your chest and chop your legs off and throw hooks to the body that will cripple a man. So it'll be interesting to see Hemsworth in action tonight. Thinking about that fight ahead, but... He's got to get past this man first. I suppose in a, in a title fight, you prepare stylistically and tactically for one specific combatant, and then suddenly at the last minute things change and you've got to just go into something a little bit blind and a little bit unaware of what's going to be in front of you. But he's made a good start, and Ransom has 
been on the back of some pretty heavy leather early. He's a considerably smaller man in there too. Yeah, you can see naturally he'd be uh, a lighter right. weight fighter, I would suggest. Nice counter right hand from Hemsworth gets through and that's hurt. Nathan Ransom. Yeah, Hemsworth needs to make a statement here tonight, really, for me. His corner telling him to get on his toes and get his movement right. Can't afford to be making mistakes like this against Rory Crawford. I don't mean to talk past this fight, but ultimately that is the end goal. Nice teep there, just pushing Ransom back onto the ropes as Hinsworth corners him now. Yeah, he's tucked him in there nicely. Now he needs to do something. That's better. Uh, the straighter, more down the right, down the line direct shots have come from Joe Hinsworth so far. Ransom has just thrown the loopier, wider shots, and Hinsworth has been able to punch inside much of those. He's dominated this one from distance, but when they have got up close too, he's been the stronger man and a good start. And I think you can see why he was destined for a title shot. Pretty calm and composed in that corner. A couple of straight shots that did the damage in round one. Just rattled Nathan Ransom. He just wasn't really allowed to get going. He was just pretty much pressed onto the back foot at every, every turn. That's some better work there in the replay. You can see him picking his shots a bit better and settling into this fight. It is early days. Okay, seconds away. Round Corners, two. 10 seconds. Seconds away, round number two. And you Go see Hemsworth really stepping it up now because he was the one who was preparing for this fight. He was ready. He needs to make a statement. Okay, so back. Right. Wait, wait! I need to stop finding it again. Wait till I say, okay? Just a shot off the break there. Jesse Saunders making sure that Ransom knows what he expects wait. of both the fighters. Wait. You see the corner calling for in and out movement for Joe Hinsworth, and I suppose they're asking really, in real terms, Dave, to maximise the range at which he keeps this. Yeah, exactly, and that's what he would have to do against uh, Crawford. He doesn't want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Crawford. Right, he, Rory right. Crawford is a very yeah. powerful K1 fighter. Okay. Big, heavy hands, chopping okay. low kicks. Joe on. Hemsworth wants to use his range, yeah. and uh, that's, okay. this is the perfect training ground for that. Right, Practice. So the shot just a little bit low that's there, there. Ransom. Much better work there from Hemsworth. Using his range, picking his shots. There you go. That's better. Just keeping everything long and straight just makes sense, doesn't it, given the stature of the two men. Hemsworth, no need to overcomplicate things. Right. Right. Long jab there, bringing the knees in through the middle too. Right. At the moment, he's just looking a level or two apart, isn't he, Dave? Yeah, he is. I'd really like to see Hemsworth Making more of a mark in this fight, though. I don't mean to be hard on him, but he's at a level now. He's fighting at that sort of level. He needs to put this guy away. No, certainly not for one to try. Ransom is taking two or three clean shots. He's covering up pretty tight. Yeah, the, 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 the knee is lacking, and I heard his corner shouting that. Um, they need to be more aggressive with the knee. Right. That's what I think Anthony Ferguson in his right. corner, coach there at Renegade Gym, saying be more aggressive. Look, he's good on the outside, picking the punches really well. That knee needs to hurt more. But a right hand is finding the target regularly. Nice high kick there, just signs that... Yeah, he's hurt. Nathan Ransom's hurt there, and that was a good shout by Saunders. Absolutely. 
Really, Six. really good refereeing. Let's get his ribs going, he's saying, to his on. corner. Carry on. Do you want to carry on? <laughs> Corner's okay. ignoring him, though. <laughs> Poor lad. So Hinsworth now marching forward, 37 seconds to go in the second round. He'll know right. that right. if he presses hard, he may get a finish before right. the end of the round, but he is going to have to work for it. Right. He's a tough right. kid. Right. Go, Nathan go. Ransom's a tough kid here. Right. That's that turning kick missed. Hemsworth now back on the offensive. Right hands getting through again. Joe needs to be more convincing. That's better behind the long hands. Getting back to what he does well. So though he is Metaphorically putting his foot down, he's in cruise control, Joe Hinsworth, so far, Dave. And that's a man who looks in control, looks calm and relaxed. Yeah, there's a bit of discomfort going on in the red corner there. I think they might call the fight here. Um, I don't feel that would be a bad thing, to be fair. There you go, referee's called the fight. And uh, I don't really feel he's got anything to gain by doing another round. He's just going to get hurt. He's a good, tough kid, Nathan Ransom, but time to duck out. Well done, Joe Hemsworth. Now you're going to get your shot at Rory Crawford. Just get the replay there before the two fighters embraced and I'm quite sure what the injury is. He's looking at his hand, his wrist, but also he was gesturing about the ribs earlier. Yeah, I think he, I think, one of those knees or kicks really hurt his rib cage. By the way, he said he needed to make a statement, and he has done. So we'll now go to our master of ceremonies, Peter Lowe, for the official result. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both men, please. And, and after two completed rounds of action, your referee, Mr. Jesse Saunders, has accepted the corner retirement of Nathan Ranson. Therefore, your winner fighting out of the blue corner, it's Joe the Hammer Hemsworth. And we will see Joe fighting for the minus 65 kilogram KGP European title later on this year in November. But show your appreciation for our brave runner up, Nathan Ranson. Joe, great performance, my friend. It wasn't the first fight you had lined up and he came and took it on short notice. It was supposed to be Rory Crawford, wasn't it? What happened there? Uh, Rory got ill. You know, it happens when you have weight cuts and stuff. I believe him, so we'll do it again at the end of the year. I've got no doubt about it. He's the current champion. You will be fighting him in November. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, to be honest, I've got to be better than that. Uh, I've, all the stuff that I'm working on in the gym, didn't only put in 50% of what I can do. So next next performance here will be 100%, without a doubt. Rory Crawford's going to get 100% of Joe Hemsworth. 100%, and I'd expect nothing less from him either. So it'll be a good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Hemsworth, come on!